Today we will learn about sleep. Human spends one third of their life sleeping. There are five stages of sleep. Light sleep, stage one. Muscles begins to relax. A person drifts in and out and can be easily awakened. Light sleep two. Brain waves slow down, then occasionally speed up in small bursts called sleep spindles. Eye movement stops and then starts deep sleep. Stage 3. Stage 3 and 4 are both deep sleep uh, stages. Brain waves continue to slow down producing low level delta waves. Delta waves dominant brain activity, eye movements and muscle activity is minimal. Then these four stages are called non-rapid eye movement stages and then is REM sleep or rapid eye movement sleep. Limbs become temporarily paralyzed, eye movement increases, breathing accentuates and sleepers start dreaming. Let's talk about circadian rhythm. A circadian rhythm is any biological process that displays an endogenous and trainable oscillation of about 24 hours. Although circadian rhythms are endogenous, built in self-sustained, they are adjusted and trained to the local environment by external cues called uh, zetibers, commonly the most important of which is daylight. So, we are awake because our internal clock responds to sunlight and we are uh, asleep. Uh, our internal clock responds to darkness and there is secretion of melatonin. So our circadian uh, rhythm is entrained with the sunlight and darkness cycles and it is located in the suprachiasmatic nucleus in the hypothalamus and it sends uh, 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 signals and there is secretion of melatonin from the pineal gland. So uh, we have uh, on awakening we have spike of cortisol which is also called stress hormone and when we fall asleep we are at low level of activity and there is lowest level of uh, cortisol hormone. So feeding schedule affects our uh, internal clock. Uh, when on awakening, uh, if we eat uh, hearty uh, breakfast, we are more uh, alert and we should uh, eat uh, dinner two or three hours before our sleep time to have a good night sleep. Then light, uh, daylight exposure is uh, early morning exposure, especially outdoor is very important. And uh, if we have bright light exposure at night, it will delay our uh, sleep time. Then physical activity. Physical activity is also important. It is uh, if done early in the morning, uh, it enhances our sleep. And if it, uh, it is done late evening, uh, it delays sleep onset. Then uh, there are circadian rhythm sleep disorders. These are of two types, intrinsic type and extrinsic type. Intrinsic type are delayed sleep phase disorder, advanced sleep phase disorder, irregular sleep-wake rhythm disorders and non-24 hour sleep-wake disorders. In extrinsic type, we have shift work sleep disorders and jet lag. So uh, here is the typical sleep phase pattern when uh, there is advanced sleep phase uh, type we have uh, our internal clock is set earlier uh, we uh, go to bed earlier and wake up early in the morning and delayed sleep phase uh, type in which we have uh, delayed onset of sleep and we awake uh, late in early morning. Now we will discuss uh, two types of extrinsic type, shift work sleep disorders and jet lag. Now what is jet lag? The medical term for jet lag are dyssynchronosis and circadian dysrhythmia. 
when we travel more than two time zone uh, then our internal clock is disturbed it is called jet so uh, if we are talk about westward flight so here is uh, in when we fly towards west the day is prolonged and say about we will reach there in the uh, evening but our clock uh, internal clock there is night has been started so to uh, decrease the effects of jet lag we should uh, have light exposure uh, preferably uh, outdoor and we should eat a um, dinner 2 to 3 hours um, before ideal sleep time this will give us energy and exposure to bright light will delay melatonin secretion so after our day is prolonged and we will get good night sleep so the factors which affect uh, are good for us to uh, minimize the effects of jet lag are get late afternoon and early evening bright light preferably outdoors avoid dim light exposure until 1 hour before new ideal sleep time eat a hearty breakfast within 30 to 45 minutes after new ideal wake up time eat a complex carbohydrate rich dinner 2 to 3 hours before new ideal sleep time and if you want to take melatonin tablet 1 mg sublingually 1 hour before new sleep time now let talk about eastward flight east for in eastward flight uh, our uh, day become shortened so when we reach there uh, it is night and our internal clock is uh, set at day uh, so we should uh, our uh, night will be shortened so to mitigate the effects of uh, eastward jet lag we should uh, get exposure to the bright light early in the morning and we should also eat a hearty breakfast with a 32 to 45 minutes of ideal uh, wake up time so factors uh, that minimize eastward jet lag are get exposure to bright light probably outdoors close to new ideal wake up time get only dim light exposure starting 1 hour before ideal sleep time eat a hearty breakfast within 30 to 45 minutes of new ideal wake up time take melatonin 1 mg sublingual 1 hour before the new sleep time now we will discuss symptoms of shift worker sleep disorder there is because they are, uh, they have to work at night so they may have headaches trouble concentrating depression inability to fall asleep or stay asleep irritability and excessive sleepiness during waking hour so what can we do to um, come treat these symptoms eye shades and ear plugs are specially useful if you sleep during the day attention to bedroom environment try to keep the bedroom cool dark and as quiet as possible take a nap before the night shift and in very bright environments wear sun glasses when you are traveling home this will increase your melatonin secretion